The video that you're about to watch is an extract from our brand new premium video website, TotalCartPlus.com. So if you enjoyed watching the video, make sure to check out the website. Chrissy. Morning. How are you? Very well, sir. Good to see you. So you're late. <laughs> you're early. <laughs> Might have been here an hour. Ignore <laughs> really? the ice, ignore yeah. the snow. Ignore... I got here yesterday afternoon, to be fair. Uh, Any good? No, I mean, it beat sitting at home watching Netflix, didn't it? So, But yeah. no, to be fair, the last three fish that have been out have been out down, oh, there you go, down this end. Uh, a couple of big 20s and a double in the last few days, so it, it made sense to come down this end, mate. Nice, you know? nice. But no, I, in all fairness, I've had a liner on that one. Uh, not seen anything, or not heard anything during the night, and it was really warm in the night initially. Yeah, it looks great up here, doesn't it? So, don't know. Yeah, well, it looks great. We, 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 there's no one here. Uh, we're the only ones here at the moment, although it isn't shut, there's no one here at the moment. So, I think if you, um, you grab your barra, I'll stick the kettle on, and before you chuck them out, we're going to have a little look. The other end's it's like a shallow bay, but look at it. Yeah, it's lovely. They, might, be, they might just be up there as well, mate. So um, yeah, grab your barra, I'll stick the kettle on. Sounds good to me. Right, Barrow's here, Chris. So the tea has been done. Beautiful cup of tea, thank you, mate. I think we should reel mine in, buddy. You've got one of yours set up. Yeah. Let's go out. I mean, look at that. Although Sorry. I've got the coat on still, it is so much more warmer. And that is two foot shallower up there. So we'll go and have a little cup there for an hour. Sounds good. Uh, and then come back. I want to get these back in because the lads that were here caught a couple of fish early afternoon, about one o'clock ish. So if we have an hour or so up there, and if we see anything, we'll stay. If not, I think back here pre lunch time and get them in the not cook my fish cakes. And I'm absolutely <laughs> yanked Marvin. But um, until then, what do you think? Let's go. Yeah, I think it sounds good, mate. I think it, it looks nice up there. So yeah, it's it feels it, nice it go and all, doesn't it? And you know, standing up there for 10 minutes in without the breeze, the sun's on that shallow stuff. Stranger things have happened. Absolutely. Let's, Let's give it a go. Have a little look, mate. Look at this big, this big ring thing. Yeah, I think that's cool, mate. I would definitely clear that. Yeah, yeah. Paint it green. You said there's a burnt stump, right? Which is that one, yeah? Yeah. You said right in front of that, down here, is a deeper bit. Exactly where that fish is. Yeah, yeah. You said also, in front of that swim. Yeah. See the iris is to the left, right of it as we look? Yeah. You said there's a deeper bit there as well. That's the first proper, I'm not sure what it was. Doesn't but... matter, it's a fish. So if I were you, you're either going to flick it out there or go like that and put the rod there. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at that, <laughs> right. Get out. Do you think it wanted to show us where it was? Well, you done a pin to a shuffle, that was. I thought, do you know what, when that first came up, Chris? I thought it was a duck's bottom. Yeah, it's fucking bizarre, wasn't it? Tell you what, that ain't that bleeding shallow, mate. 
That ain't that shallow, mate. It's no. fives. I'm going to drop it there. Yeah, that, that, well, that, he's on the bottom. That one's feeding, isn't it? It's the one you just scared off, Hill. That's the one I just scared the shit out of. Or scared the life out, should we say. Oh, cool. Just drop her down there, mate. See, there's it's four or five yeah, foot it's there. Yeah, it's decent, isn't it? There's four or five foot there, mate, isn't there? That's it, leave them quiet. Right, Chris, see that one showed? Yeah, absolutely. That is going to really annoy his mates, especially <laughs> if we get one or two, because there's fizz in there, there's fizz in there. Show us where they are. Let's see how the next hour or so goes. Um, we may just have to move up here anyway yeah, absolutely. and set up one at each end of this, of this bay. Yeah, it's got to be worth staying up here for for a few hours now we're seeing one. What do you think? 100%, you know, he's not going to be on his own, is he? That was quite a big fish and all. Yeah, it was nice. Doing that, head out the water, sh shuffling thing. So one, one bubbling just in the corner a few minutes ago as well, so. Yeah, well, we've, we've been here five minutes and we've seen more activity here. There are fish down there without a shadow of a doubt because the, the, the fierce liners, yeah, there's fish moving about, but we've seen a carp, we've seen fizzing. Have a couple of hours here, mate. If, you know, if we need to, we can, the rods are lent against the bivvy, we can always go and grab another rod each and um, maximise our chances even more. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Nah, it feels nice up here. It feels it's warmer. Yeah, it's it's a couple of degrees warmer it's up here. No, it's because I'm standing near you. <laughs> Honestly, I'm hot stuff, yeah. <laughs> hot, hot London lad. <laughs> All right. No, it is though, isn't it? You've got the breeze up there, look. Yeah. There's nothing here. It feels so different. And, and I really was expecting that to be too, I don't know why, but two foot deep. There's a good depth there. I, I feel that we've you got a fantastic chance here of nabbing one, mate. As good a chance as any at the moment. Yeah. Absolutely. I say I don't mind and give it half an hour. I don't mind going back and getting the chairs from down there, mate. I ain't got one. Well, I've got one here. I've got one here, look. <laughs> You're going to take that home with you? Uh, it, what, do you know what? It, where there's a will, there's a way. I won't take it home. I'll take it up to the bivvy. Sounds nice. It'll be yeah. lovely, sir. So very, I don't need a chair. Very carpy. But while you're up there, you might as well grab your biscuits, um, a kettle, a pint of milk, a gallon of water, two cups. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, we're all right here for a while, buddy, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Just waiting for one of these chips to, to, to pull around, give us a chance. So there you go, that's an insight into Ian Russell's session film on Blasford Hill. It's part of his popular troubleshooter series in the magazine and over on Total Car Plus we've got a 50 minute feature length film documenting exactly how the session went down. It's safe to say that it turned out to be a session that neither Ian or his troubleshooter client Chris Watts would forget in a hurry. And at the end of this short video I'll put a clip of one of the awesome carp that they caught. So if you want to watch the full video, make sure to go to TotalCarpPlus.com and subscribe and that'll give you access to our ongoing archive of exclusive video content plus loads of extra benefits too. This is what he did before. Yeah, Where is, is that? There's, there's yeah. got to be a fish on it, surely. Yes. I might have been caught on something actually. Yeah, I've just um he's given up hold up. He's given up a bit easy now, hasn't he? Probably caught a mine, mine just bleep. <laughs> <laughs> this was literally just after I had that run like mistake before. Yeah. I just lobbed it back out with no back on. <laughs> I think it might have been held on something yeah. before, right? It certainly went a lot lighter all of a sudden. Yeah, they've done this before though, didn't they? When you when they get in here, then they what then they liven up, don't they? They come in here, aren't they? Mirror that. Love that noise. When the line sings in the wind. <laughs> that, was, that was me like. Is that it? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm very musical. Mirror, definitely a mirror. Nice fish though, mate. Good fish, mate. Well, it's certainly the best mirror, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd do well to be smaller, wouldn't it? Oh, that's a good fish, mate. Not a bad one, is it? No, that's a big fish, mate. That's a good one. I'm going to weigh him up. That's for bloody sure. Mm, he's getting near the mark. Honey. Good fish. Very good fish, in fact. Very, very long. Mirror car. 
Number six. It's got a bit of weight to it. Yes, that is, bad, is it? by far wow. the biggest one yet, mate. Eh? Look at him. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Right, let's string him up, Chrissy. Give him a wet. No, give him a bit of a splosh, mate. And then we'll um, shake that out of that wall and give him a string up, mate. Right, got him? Up we go. Let's go. 30 pound, I'm going to call it 30 pound 8 ounces, okay? 30 pound 8 <laughs> ounces. Happy days, man. Well done, That's mate. Amazing. You did wow. say we do a 30, the yeah, amount of fish yeah, you're yeah. getting, Chris. 30 pound 8, buddy. A double. Come on. 20s, wow. It's a long fish, isn't it? It's a big one, boy, isn't it? Right, well here's fish number six of what is turning out to be absolute amazing session. 30 pound, eight ounces, really clean, hard fighting mirror. What an amazing fish, turning into an absolute amazing session. Oh. Now a little bit about the venue itself. Blasford Hill is a beautiful, intimate day ticket venue. It's got a brilliant head, of specimen carp to over 39 pound and as I mentioned it's available on a day ticket so anybody can go and fish there. If you do want to go and fish there then you can book your ticket via GoCatch either on the website gocatch.fish or on their app. It's really really simple to do and it means that you can guarantee your space on the lake. So if the fishing in the video is a bit of you then make sure to check out the Blasted Hill page over on the GoCatch website.